And welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hiro-san, how are you? Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Excellent. And good afternoon. And good afternoon. <laughs> okay, Hiro, what do we got going on in the kitchen today? Something very, very special? Mm. We're going to uh, cook with a chicken today. Okay. Mm. This recipe is actually when I was in Japan, my first restaurant actually uh, has this menu. Okay. I mean, uh, this recipe was on the menu. Right. Mm. So that's what we're going to make today. Was it a pretty popular dish? Um, was popular. Actually, okay. we, we were uh, selling sales was very good. Very good. One. Okay. So, so, what are the ingredients here? Here is a uh, chicken tight here. Okay. It's already. I'm uh, going to fasten the boneless. I mean, take off the bone. Okay. <laughs> then the, after that, I'm gonna put the salt and pepper, and then saute. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna put the first cornstarch on it, and then I'm going to make saute. Okay. And then um, sauce is. What is it? Ponzu sauce. Okay. And then daikon. Grind the daikon. Okay. So, oroshi ponzu. That's what oroshi we call ponzu. Mm. Oroshi is mean like a grind. Grind it, okay. The, this one. Micrograde. So after taking the skin, and then the, <coughs> I'm gonna do grind it. Okay. So that's what we call oroshi. Oroshi. And this one we call oroshi gane. Oroshi gane. Okay. Mm. And these you can find incidentally yes, on Amazon. One, you can, yes, Michael also, Grader. Uh, yeah, Asian market. Okay. Uh, could be Amazon. Sure. Online, so you can get it. And, uh, yeah, he has a uh, for the garnish uh, watercress. Okay. And uh, red cabbage. So you look at purple cabbage. <laughs> and then scallion. Okay. Mm. First step, I'm gonna start with the daikon, daikon radish, the oroshi daikon. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, you want to talk about your knife here before you make that oh, cut? This is a usuba knife, uh, uh, Mino no Kuni. Uh, it's a new knife. Uh, today, actually, the first time I used this. First time you're using it, right? Oh, this knife. Hopefully. Okay. So we got to give a demonstration in the future about your sure, sure. your knife in, in action. Okay. So I'm gonna use that half of that today. And the. Uh, Take over the skin. No, it's really sharp. Just cuts through with these. You can see that. Also, of course, we do uh, like a katsura muki. Go like this way. Okay. Mm. My eyes. Oh, you feel like getting yeah. off. Keep the things on the bowl. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. So this tube is about gonna wash a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I'm keeping a little bit into the water. And then little onion. Once you start to wash it. Okay, so got a color a bit. Oh yeah. Naturally blue. Yeah. Well, the cutting board has that color on it too. Yeah, on it too. Yeah, beautiful, huh? You can see this color? Sure. Nice. Like a Like a Very. So you definitely have to rinse this out every time you're done finish cutting to get the color out? I do, yes. If for the cooking, it's not really necessary. But for the garnish or something, from either sashimi or something. I wash it. Yeah, you don't want it all over the plate. It's almost like just like radishes, you know? Like beets. Beets have the same natural color. Yes. And then after that, you're gonna squeeze it. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this one right now. Okay, next step is uh, I'm gonna open the chicken. But look <laughs> my finger, I just washed it my uh red onion, uh red cabbage. Still. Hero, it looks horrible. <laughs> I can't believe you. Got eyes on it, my finger. Don't worry, someone's gonna make a comment I, I and say that. Brush off the, uh, you know. They'll be in the comment section, don't worry, Hero. Gonna be so, there. Yeah, people are gonna see. Oh, still. oh, his hands are dirty. What are you doing? Preparing food, Hero? I can't believe it. I wash the hand. <laughs> oh, we're not worried. Most okay. Or something. Okay, so next step we're gonna be chicken. <clears throat> take out, uh, first take out the bone out. But this one's done before. One time we, we did it. Mm -hmm. It's perfect what a Devon knife is for, huh? Cutting these things. Actually, this one's a more, little bit more small knife is better to handling. Okay. Mm. Nice, yeah. beautiful piece. This. Okay, so you're just scoring it on the top? Right. Okay. You're gonna cook with the skin on also? Yes, I like the skin. Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, next step, we're gonna put the sea salt and the black pepper on it. Cornstarch on both sides. Cook, okay. So heat. Low heat, okay. And just turn it over how many? Like just every few minutes? Yes. So it doesn't so burn on each side. Mm -hmm. Also we can use the oven too. Okay. Yeah, after you cook the both sides, make it a little bit to uh, coloring the brown it, then after you can put it in the oven too. Okay. So you can do it. Very good.
You can imagine doing this with pork chop here. Pork chop? Yeah. Mm. Be good. Yeah, that's This looks beautiful here. Beautiful, right? Eh? Crispy. Yeah. Okay, it's a top of my plate. Okay, it's getting very nice into the crispy. It looks phenomenal. Looks good. So juicy. Perfectly done. Mm. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Great. So easy to do at home too. Yes, it's very easy this one. And then just for decoration, there is a ranch. Mm -hmm. Good too. Okay, that's good. And, uh, I'm gonna put the ponzu sauce. And the uh, daikon uroshi. a little bit of lemon or something too. Okay. Like. This looks so good. It's so simple to make too, really, I'm telling you. Hiro, I think you uh, created another beautiful dish. Thank you very and much. I can't wait to try this because you said again, this is one of the more popular dishes in the restaurant you worked at in Japan, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. See you next time. See you next time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you all so much. Bye-bye. Here we go, Hero, the tasting this part. Yes. Let's see how it is. You can do a pondo sauce over the chicken. Okay. But I'm gonna do uh, actually on the side. I'm gonna take uh, daikon roshi and my pondo sauce here. Okay. And scallion here too. Like that. Then I do this piece, scallion and daikon, then eat. Mm. Brings back memories in Japan, huh? Very nice. Mm. Well, look, I got a pair of chopsticks here, and I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of.
Mm. I love it. The skin's crunchy. The meat is totally very um, tender and juicy. And um, the taikan take radish is actually very good too. Not too over overpowering. Look how, I mean, this is just perfectly done. Look at that. Here, I wish I had a bowl of rice so I could tell. <laughs> chicken, chicken dumbri. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. So good. It was nice that cornstarch makes everything really crunchy. Mm. The skin part. And texture is kind of real. Crunchy plus, I don't know how they call it. So juicy, the chicken. Juicy. Here, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to try this at home. You will thank us soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>